So what's going on guys, my name is Chopper and welcome back everybody to a brand new video. In this one guys, we got an absolutely huge update that just came out for PUBG with a lot of stuff you guys are going to love. It's stuff that we've checked up on a little bit ago and is now finally in the game. There's also a lot of things in this patch that I just did not expect to happen, but it, it, it happened in such a good way and I'm so glad that this is the direction that the game is going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys don't mind sparing a second to drop a like rating on this video, if you're excited for this PUBG update and to get your hands on everything that's included in this, I'd appreciate that a lot. And of course, make sure that you do subscribe if you're branded to the channel so that you stay up to date on all this kind of content and then anything PUBG that I post on here as well. Now, I think that's important that you guys know that this patch right now is on the test server, so it will be coming to live servers after it's here for a couple days and then players get their hands on it. So if you want to try it out, you're going to have to try it over there. But when it comes to live servers and then when the patch fully gets released, then everybody will be able to play it. So with that being said, guys, sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into this full update. So really quick, let's get some of the smaller stuff out of the way first. Finally, PUBG has added in their radio system, which is very, you know, Apex Legends-esque. The idea here now is that you're going to be able to communicate with somebody who maybe doesn't have a microphone if you're playing with people much, much easier and be able to even call out with teammates that you're playing with a lot easier as well. So for example, you can now use your ping system to call out specific weapons and mark where they are. You can also use this ping system to call out enemies and it, the message will sort of vary by distance. So for example, like near range, it'll say like less than 500 meters. If it's medium range, it'll say less than 200. Long range, it'll say 200 meters or more. And then if you find somebody really far away at 500 meters, it'll give an exact call out for that as well. So you can kind of give a better idea and give your teammates you know a, a better version of the picture of what's going on and so I think this is a really good tool and it's going to help people communicate almost as seamlessly as it is in other games like Apex Legends, Counter-Strike, or Overwatch. And also the final little thing is that BP is coming back in a big way. You know, skins and items are going to be able purchasable through these things again, and a lot of new items are coming to the shop. And so if skins and items are what you're into, then those are absolutely coming back in a big way for you. For a lot of players like myself who have a lot of BP saved up, then we're going to have an absolute field day. Now, moving on to some of the big gameplay stuff here. The BRDM vehicle, guys, has finally made it to the game. And boy, oh boy, I finally got to test it out, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. But if you check it out on screen right here, this is what it looks like when you call it in only using a flare. Now, of course, you have to be outside of the zone to receive this reward. If you're inside the safe zone, it's going to give you a care package, of course. But if you go outside the safe zone, and you get this vehicle, then you can finally use the BRDM. And I noted a couple interesting things about this. First of all, this vehicle has double the health of a UAZ. So that means it's going to take like 80 bullets, roughly speaking, to blow this thing up. It's normally double of that. And just by looking at this vehicle, you can see that how seamlessly it takes on water and land. Now, what's interesting is now I haven't actually hit a deep water section yet. And so you can already see that it can go through shallow water very easily but watch what happens when you hit deep water so what this means is that what any other vehicle in the game would struggle with or would start to sink this vehicle once you hit that point in the water this front boat fin is going to deploy then your wheels are going to stop and it's going to switch to fully being a water boat mode and then if you you know approach the land again or if you hit shallow water the wheels are going to redeploy the boat thing is going to come down and then you're going to be right back at it so it's absolutely seamless driving it anywhere you want and honestly i find this vehicle actually useful the only thing is the only downside is that unfortunately you cannot shoot from it in, in any way whatsoever. The passenger can't even do it. So rip seat swapping with this, but uh, overall, I think it's an absolutely incredible vehicle. Now moving on to our next big feature here, let's go ahead and talk about the ledge grab. Now this feature is finally in and honestly guys, I think this is going to make a big difference when it comes to gameplay. I think in a good way, it'll give players a more creative like route to travel the entire map and get on places that they wouldn't otherwise be able to and, and so sort of take advantage of that. Now the way this works is that you can jump off of any ledge and if you're approaching a ledge that can be grappled onto then you hit your vault key or whatever you have it rebinded to if it's your space bar or if it's whatever your jump is then it's going to be the same thing but I, I have my vault and my and my jump different so I essentially have to hit a different key to make sure that I ledge grab but it works out just fine you can really like traverse the map way easier than you used to be able to so this is going to add a lot more fluidity to the gameplay in my opinion you can either use it to get up on a ledge or you can use it to get down from a ledge as well and so it's basically whatever direction you're going in at that time and so it's kind of like the same thing when you whenever you use the vaulting but now you can use this going from building to building and then like attach onto different railings now an important thing to know about this ledge grab is what PUBG has mentioned is this is not the final build of it they're still working on it this is like basically the alpha of the ledge grab there's still an improvement to be made because you cannot hang on railings and, and do a couple other things that they would like you to be able to do with this ledge grab
ledge grab at the moment, but that is being worked on. They mentioned that you may be able to slide down railings too whenever their fully update comes out with this, and they expect to patch it twice, I think, in this very patch, which doesn't make sense. I think they're going to put out a hot fix for the ledge grab and then test it in this very update, so I'm not really sure. I'll keep you guys updated on that, but it's something if you want to go try at the ledge grab, you can absolutely do so for yourself on the test server, and it's something that I would start on early because I really feel like this is going to be another mechanic that's going to decide, you know, uh, the, it's going to separate the good players from the bad players even more. Now, it's also worth mentioning that aside from this ledge grab animation, I think they're going to be working on other animations as well, such as getting in and out of vehicles. I believe that is being worked on as well, so that's something to stay looking out for. Now, getting to a feature that I'm really excited to talk about, there's been a complete overhaul and a rework, finally, to the gas cans. Now, they mentioned that this was not a significant loot item. They fully admitted it, that it wasn't something that players were picking up or really finding themselves using all too often. So, they've completely reworked it, and guess what? If you've watched a lot of my videos and, and you kind of heard my suggestion about what the gas can should be or how it should perform they sort of did that now it's also important to know that there are rules and like stipulations to how this gas can works but i'm going to show it off and explain how you can use gas cans now effectively to actually you know kill enemy players or, or set up some creative plays with it and i'm so excited they added this in the game man gas cans can now be blown up by using your own bullets or even using grenades to to explode them and so the way that this works is now you can stack them in your inventory drop them wherever you like and if you shoot enough it's going to blow up dealing a blast radius and of course, the closer you are to this blast radius, then the more damage you're going to take. It's important to know that you can damage your teammates with this as well, so it's important to be careful when doing this, but it's lo it's looking like one of those things. We're going to have to get used to it because now gas cans went from an item that's completely benign to something that's literally dangerous and uh, and something that you actually want to think about carrying this time. I'm literally so happy this is a feature now because it it's an item that just saw zero playtime and didn't have much value, especially the, the way players play nowadays, but now it it's something that I think we're it's a new item we're going to have to learn, which you want to keep in mind about this gas can thing though is that multiplying them does not uh, stack the damage as well so let's say you have like three gas cans you blow them all up at the same time it's not going to cause triple damage especially if you like put it in your vehicle and you're trying to explode it in one shot it doesn't really work that way the gas cans are, are seem to explode individually from what it looks like and so you can blow them up in multiple ways either with bullets or using grenades and so this is something that i cannot wait to start learning and uh, it's definitely going to change up the game quite a bit and i'd also like to think that at least our suggestion in previous videos had some kind of hand in determining this new outcome for the gas can. It's really cool to see, and uh, I'm absolutely stoked they added this to the game. Now, to the main event and the thing that you guys want to see, yes, the Desert Eagle has been added to the game. No meme, no trolling, check this thing out. The long-awaited Deagle has finally made it to the game, and it's not even a crate weapon, it's a common spawn for everybody to use, and if you look at this gun, it is absolutely stellar, and so this is now single-handedly the highest damage handgun in the game, dealing 62 damage per shot, meaning if you can land these bullets, you're going to absolutely shred any type of helmet that exists and honestly this may indeed be the first pistol that I'm going to start running in my class setup like I, I never run pistols at all just because I, I don't find much purpose in it but the deagle may be the first exception to the rule it's also worth knowing like for attachments you can put on a red dot you can put on a holographic sight you can even put on a laser sight if you want to have more hip fire which I think the deagle probably will be really good at using and because it is a common spawn I believe it's going to be spawning on every map they didn't specify if it's going to be like exclusive to any certain ones which is good because because, you know, some of the weapons just are so exclusive that you just get, like, next to no playtime with it, and so they don't want to go that route for the Desert Eagle, so they're going to make it a common spawn, giving a chance for everybody to use it, which is an awesome move, if you ask me. And while playing with the Deagle, I discovered that the recoil is absolutely insane on this. The fire rate, though, is, is really good, surprisingly. Like, you can shoot this unbelievably quick, but also the downside is that the recoil is, is like, so drastic that you are going to have to take a little bit of time to recenter your shot every time you fire a bullet. So it's one of those things, it's one of those high skill high reward kind of weapons and as it should be there's also a really nice new feature with the kill icon when you finally get a kill that's over 100 meters in this game it's going to tell you the exact distance of what that kill was on the center of your screen as the name pops up and then you get your number as well and so this will be a nice addition giving you an exact distance and will help you learn more about how to judge these distances correctly but it will only pop up if it is over 100 meters is something that you got to know so it looks like with this and then also like the ui for the parachuting they're, they're completely like overhauling almost all of the ui in the game to make it a lot more friendly and understandable for every player and so i think this is only one of the first of many ui changes that's coming to the game but it's absolutely a welcome one and also the weapon mastery system is seeing a lot of improvements and of course the desert eagle is being added to that list as well and, and so i think with this patch and then a lot going forward you're going to see still major improvements to this weapon mastery system and a lot of updates to come and finally we had an absolutely massive amount of bug fixes and i'm not going to go over all of them just because there's way too many this would be a 30 minute video if we talked about every single one and so if you guys are interested in all 
all the bug fixes that got patched out if that's your thing then i'm going to leave a link down below in the description and you can go ahead and read those ones for yourself but to summarize all the big major points here in this patch first of all the ledge grab has now made it to the game so get experimenting with how you can move around the map now the brdm vehicle is the brand new flare gun airdrop vehicle reward but unfortunately i'm not sure what the fate of the armored uac is hopefully it's still in the game at some point but we'll have to wait and see and then also desert eagle is finally here and has been added to all maps as far as i can tell it's going to be a common spawn that means everybody's going to get to play with it and so this means that this might be one of the biggest patches that we've had in in such a long time as far as content i believe it is the biggest patch this year and uh, it has an absolute ton of stuff that you want to get your hands on it will be coming to live servers i would imagine probably in a couple of weeks shouldn't be too long but if you want to try it out now and you don't want to wait too long then you can hop on the pc test server and give all this stuff a go and let me know what you think but if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video then a like rating would be very much appreciated and of course make sure that you do subscribe and stick around because i have a lot of exciting videos coming up for pubg and you're not going to want to miss them so make sure you stick around here let me know what you think of the patch on twitter you can follow me link is down below in the description you can tell me your thoughts on it and also before you guys go make sure you check the link in the description and go subscribe to my second channel if you haven't already i'm uploading more content over there and uh, i'd appreciate that very much but anyways guys thank you so much for watching the video once again hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you all on the next live stream or the next video take it easy and peace out